I'm giving away $100 to the best setup this month, and I want you to help me pick the winner. Much better. The monthly winner then moves on to the annual grand finale for some kick-ass prizes. So all you gotta do is comment below on which setup should win the setup of the month. Really all you need to do is just one, two, three, or four. Let's do this. First up is Luigi from Germany, and he's rocking a white and black three minor setup. He's using some of the pro setup tips of completing the white and black theme by using some you know white and black stuff like the popular white 3D wall panels, white and black headphones, a couple of white Lindman tabletops, I assume, on top of some white Alex drawers. He's got a white PC build, nice white and black custom keyboard in some shots, white and black mouse pad, and also an all black mouse pad in some of the other shots as well. What I like about white setups is they really display the RGB well, so you can change the theme of it like he does here. Looks like he has RGB behind his monitors, desk, walls, and some nanoleaf panels. The center monitor is a 240Hz ASUS Rogue monitor with some 144Hz MSI curved monitors on the sides. He used a white cable tray or sleeves to hide the monitor cables to blend it into that white background. Nice job. Looks like he also fell down the keyboard rabbit hole since he's also displaying a variety of custom keyboards in the corner. He also has an Echo Show, an Elgato Stream Deck, and a variety of mice on his desk. His webcam looks like the Razer Kyo Pro, and he also has a Shure SM7B attached to a Go XLR Mini. Here's the specs of his beautiful white Lean Lee O11D, which he says he's eventually upgrading everything here soon, so I can't wait to see that. Nice job, Luigi. Vote number one for Luigi down in the comments if you think he has the best setup this episode. This next setup is from Get Down Kit, and he says it was built with both function and design in mind for the master bedroom to take up as little space as possible while allowing easy access to camera gear and out of reach of the kids. I like the white and black design on the wall, and then also I like the black with the wood look. It also has an Expanse theme, which is a TV show, and displaying the 3D printed Rosinante ship and using the land of gear as a coaster. <laughs> nice. The wood desktop is a popular Carl beam, and he's supporting it with some L brackets mounted to the wall under it instead of some legs, kind of give that little floating look. He's got a classy, unique chair, but I don't know. I don't think I could sit in that thing for a long time. I need more back support, but you know, whatever works for him. As you can see, he's got a good collection of camera gear, and he has a nice Weeble S gimbal and the DJI Mini 2 drone. He likes using the laptop to remain mobile to edit, occasionally work from home, and light gaming. It attaches a 32-inch curved Dell at 1440p and 165Hz. Instead of increasing his FPS with RGB, he's rocking a Qantas monitor light and a ring light. It's a nice no RGB setup. Vote number two for Get Down Kid in the comments if you think he has the best setup this episode. Coming in number three is a setup from Jealous Wombat. This is another warm feeling setup with a massive Samsung G9 49 inch monitor. I like the tall light that we can barely see off to the left there, giving off some of that warm feel, along with some of the RGB glow behind the desk, some from a monitor lamp and one on the desk. Completing the warm wood feel is a nice wood wrist rest next to a key chrome K4 V2 keyboard and a Razer Mamba mouse. Looks like he has a Logitech Brio 4K webcam and a Razer Siren X mic. Speakers are the Eve Audio Speakers SC204. He's got the PC on a stand on the floor, you know, but at least it's not directly on the floor. Can't fit that PC on the desk because of the G9 and speakers taking up all that real estate. Nice cozy setup you have, Jealous Wombat. So vote number three for Jealous Wombat in the comments if you think he has the best setup this episode. Last but not least is my buddy Logan or Flex TV. We joke because he's basically the Utah me or I'm the Colorado him. Without telling you all of our similarities, he loves gaming and building custom things like you can see here in this beautiful setup. He built this thing with the illusion that everything is floating the desktop, PC, drawers, and monitors. It's a smaller room, so he's able to support the butcher block desktop from the side walls while reinforcing the middle. Since it's a triple monitor setup, it didn't have much room for the PC, so he rigged a floating shelf to hang his PC on, and he says it's pretty sturdy. Only problem is that there's not much room for heat to escape out the top from his 3090 and 11900K, so he tapped into his HVAC and ran a vent to it to cool it more. Nice. The floating drawers are also custom made, and he built in some LEDs at the bottom. 
It also hides a subwoofer that's in the back on the shelf. His center monitor is an ASUS 240Hz and the sides are Acer 165Hz. He runs his cables through the wall for the floating look too. All the cables for his whole setup are hidden behind his custom RAM inspired look that he built at the back under his desk. Looks awesome. Hidden behind the monitors are his mic, camera, and light bars. He moves his monitors to expose these and put them to use when streaming. Smart. Now let's chat about his custom hexagon lights on the sidewalls. He cut out the design on a plexiglass and then cut out the hexagon shapes on acoustic absorption panels. Mounted those to the plexiglass and cut out the shape he wanted. Mounted some LED lights on the back and plugged it into a whole separate controller. He even designed his mouse pad. All the specs from these setups are down in the description so go check them out. Excellent work Logan and look forward to more content from you buddy. Vote number 4 for Logan in the comments if you think he has the best setup this episode.